Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mikey07 and you are watching our next Zemla 2 tutorial. So in uh, this tutorial, as you saw from the titles, I will try to uh, show how you can make uh, tuning parts for your car. So basically, here is all the list. I will start with the in part. So here you can see all the domain names you will need to make your car tunable in San Andreas. So here are the wings, spoilers and so on. Okay, so let's start with the first part, which is I will show which part is for which car. So you need to go to San Andreas, here is your San Andreas folder, wherever is your installation and go to that folder. And there is this car mods file, which you need to open up with any text editor. As you can see, here is the uh, tuning parts, which is for all cars. So we will need to find LG and here in is the list is all parts which is for LG as you can see here is exhaust exhaust front bumper front bumper nitros rear bumper spoilers and wings and as you can see for the wings there is only the left side because game uh, actually takes the right side by itself and you don't need to add it to the tuning list so all right now let's start from the beginning I will extract this uh, front bumper don't need okay so I'm gonna just delete this front bumper so it's out of the way so basically here is your mod and here for example you have some let's call it bumper one so it's not in the right name so basically for example you import the car model and you finish and here you have this uh, front bumper also this is a very important uh, once you start convert your car from the need for speed you need to decide that you want to make it normal from the very beginning because once you scale this uh, car model to the right size and rotate it as you need because uh, in need for speeds the car is actually this way here is the front so you need to decide from the start that you want to make it tunable later on it's just impossible almost almost impossible to make uh, tunable by just importing the parts because you'll need to find the right scale and uh, so on so here is our bumper which is like this and let's actually uh, display it no, but I said the axis, so it's totally like a. I just imported, for example. Let's see. Okay, so as you can see now, the uh, here's the bumper and dummy is right in the middle. While the LG bumper dummy, let's see, it's here. Here, this one is. So what you first want to do is just drag and drop this bumper. Let's go to the LG Pontiac chassis and front bumper where's front bumper okay so here's the front bumper and just drop it here in the dummy as you can see now here is the bumper and it's still in the center so what you want to do to make it work uh, you need to reset the axis because right now if you leave like this let me show what will happen in the game so let's put this one and now let's set it here and let's reset it the center of x okay and here's the bumper so right now if you would export this game the bumper will be this far away from the car so to avoid that you need to let's reset uh, you need to reset access to the bumper dummy to do that let's go to the bumper and you need to do moot here in the dummy and now when you display local access and reset offset to the parent as you can see it went here and now, if I move it inside here, um, exact transform, as you can see, it's already in the center, in, in, at zero. So when I press OK, it, it doesn't move anywhere. It's actually, I duplicated the axis position from the original bumper. So, as you can see, so right now, the bumper is at the right location and we can export it link on link. So right now, we have uh, this uh, bumper. So next step, what you want to do is to decide, decide what is this part is so once again you have to go to the data folder go to car modes LG, and here is the list so this will be a front bumper here's a version and c version ignore this l it's just a name so we what we need to do is take a copy let's see what which i deleted front bumper was the front bumper yeah i deleted eight so we need to name it this two front a bumper uh, L and name it to 
the FF. So basically right now we have this uh, object which is called front bumper and the next step what you want to do is to uh, create a copy so don't move anywhere and just copy and now what you want to do is to let's see front bumper which was this okay so yeah as you can see now I need to rename uh, this bumper more like I need to add a tag shiny uh, this is a tag only for the zim layer so if you use it for 3 days max you might not need to add this shiny but this is for the zim layer so I'll use this one so basically this shiny tag is so for when zim layer exported uh, to the DFF file it knows that it's tunable part and it will be bright otherwise if you don't use this shiny part it will be dark like a Uranus and then and, Saddler and regional cars and then Super GT which is like a dark it doesn't have specular highlights so you need to use shiny for at the end so a uh, next part what you want to do well right now you can convert this first one just to convert to dummy so it doesn't might bother you so next one next step what you want to do is to add a group so let's copy one more time I usually copy you can just make here and put a dummy helper with this one I, I don't I'm used like this so I'll show him how I'm used and how I'm making so next step what you want to do is just rename it to grow I forgot what it was yeah grow zero one and again right board shiny so uh, when you export it it's in the specular highlight and it looks the same as the car itself so and now what you want to do is again convert to dummy and now you can move this bumper inside the group and create a copy to make a damage part and here you can just try the jam oh let me check if I demos yeah demos behind so basically you can write like this and now this the right part and this will be how the damage part looks like so let's name the right part move this one and move inside and you are done basically this is it okay and for example let me show another part for the wings here in the wings you don't need any groups because there doesn't have any a uh, damage part so you don't need a group but you still need to use this sword shiny at the end so it's bright in the game so here's the wings exhaust here's exhaust as well for exhaust exhaust you can leave in the center but again this center dummy let me export it where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Shiny? No. Dummy. And here should be somewhere exhaust. No. Where is exhaust? Where is exhaust? Yeah. Okay. So it's exported. Unlink. So you can see here's a regional ex uh, exhaust, which uh, center dummy is here in the middle. So also for these other exhaust parts, you need to have in the middle. For example, if I move it, let's take all regional. And modify move and let's move only move pivot only and now you can move the pivot and for example if I move like this and you can actually do like this and it will work in the game just fine so and now if I would export it let me show where this ex, uh, exhaust will be okay and this exact transform which is tuning let's see the lower is tuning okay and now if we reset the Axis, as you can see, it's enabled car, and here exhaust will be here at the back end and then far away from the car. So to fix that, you need to let's go back. You need to reset axis so again, again, display local axis and reset to parent. So here the tuning, and I, as you can see, I reset to the original one. So now all the uh, dummies in the right location now with filed exported it will be uh, just fine as you can see now I press on the bottom and it's at zero location and zero position so basically it's the same as it will be in the game let's go back and come on exhaust okay so it's back in oh and the spoilers as well as you can see here at the at back is the spoilers and they have this group zero one because they have damage part as well 
As you can see here is also shiny and them here in the list. The car modes, LG, and here is the list. Where is spoilers? Where is spoilers? Okay, so here's the spoiler bot again. Spool A L B. And if you go here, we have this L A B. And here's the list for the other parts. Yeah, it starts really confusing which parts which, but once you make like a two or three mods, you will get used to which is the bumpers and which not not because you can see here are the cars, for example, this exhaust, so stops the exhaust. Here's the LG for L for LG, F for Flash, G for Jester, ST for Stratum, S for Sultan, and U for Uranus. So you can see here's U at Zen, so basically it's a and C parts. All you need to remember is these front parts of the eggs. So basically, uh, damage parts you need to make only for the bumpers and the uh, spoiler. Yeah, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Um, right, I guess that was it. Yeah, if you have some questions or if I explain it too quick, write in the comments and I will try to answer them in the comments or just in the another uh, video because this tuning parts actually was requested by some viewers so I decided to make yeah next video what you can expect is how to make these door arches for example let me show door door as you can see I had these door arches which origi originally there was nothing just the whole basically whole internet interior is uh, made by myself in a zim layer yeah the wheels poking up but you can't see it in this game yeah, whole interior is made by myself in the Zimler, so you can see what Zimler is capable of. I really like this dash hat tuned out. Yeah, today I opened it and I was surprised how cool this dash actually looks like. And it's all made in the Zimler, so you can see what Zimler can do. Yeah, really cool. So yeah, next uh, tutorial will be how you can make uh, polygons and how you can fill the holes, because I have seen many modes where they just attach this part and outside wall with the interior and just fills up the cap which actually doesn't look great all right i hope this was useful for you if you liked it leave a like subscribe for more tutorials so i see that someone actually watch it and thank you for watching leave a like subscribe and i will see you in the next one